Are you finding that when you're cutting your carbs, you're still not able to lose weight? In a lot of videos, if you hit a plateau, I tell you to cut your carbs down, right? I also will tell you to eat less frequently, do more fasting. Both of these should work, but if they don't, there's usually two reasons for this. One is there's a problem with your sleep, and another one is that there's a problem with this right here, too much stress. And so I'm gonna talk about the relationship between the sleep hormone melatonin, as well as the stress hormone cortisol in relationship to why you're not losing weight. So sleep produces a hormone called melatonin. Melatonin comes in when it gets dark out and it helps induce a deep, wonderful, restful sleep, right? And that's when all the magic happens with weight loss because you're gonna spike growth hormone and you're gonna wake up with less weight. But melatonin, it inhibits insulin. I don't know if you know this, but insulin is the key hormone that blocks your ability to lose weight. Okay, so if you take a look at melatonin inhibiting insulin, that would be a good thing, right? Lowering insulin. The body is saying, hey, it's time to sleep. We don't need to release insulin now, right? So you can start losing weight. But if you're exposed to a blue light about, I don't know, two or three hours before you're going to sleep, and it's you're on your computer or you're on your cell phone, you're getting all this blue light, that's going to block insulin, okay? So insulin starts kicking in about two hours before you go to sleep. And so we don't want to mess with that. So it's very, very important not to be around that blue light um, before you go to bed because what's gonna happen, that is going to block melatonin and now we're gonna actually have more insulin which is then going to affect your weight. So that's one mechanism right there, but also late night snacking, okay? Let's say, for example, <laughs> you're a snacker, it's late at night, and you eat something, but guess what's gonna happen? This food, especially if it's carbohydrate, is going to try to stimulate insulin, but insulin is being suppressed to a certain degree by melatonin. So we're not gonna have the help of insulin to regulate these blood sugars. So your blood sugars are gonna go up, okay? And with more blood sugars being up, you're not gonna lose weight. So depending on the mechanism of what disrupts this melatonin, either blue light or eating, that right there is gonna inhibit your ability to lose weight. All right, so that's one mechanism. And I have a lot of videos on how to fix this and what to do about this and how to get rid of uh, the cravings. So you can watch those down below. But sleep is very, very, very important if you're trying to lose weight. Let's talk about stress. When you go through stress, you stimulate this hormone called cortisol. Another name for cortisol is a glucocorticoid. Uh, gluco, standing for glucose, right? It's a glucose hormone. It releases glucose as quick energy for stress. So if you're trying to go to sleep at night, and you get this higher cortisol, this quick glucose release for quick energy because your body's in some stress mode, that's gonna affect your ability to lose weight because now we have more sugar. When you didn't even eat sugar, your body is releasing the sugar because it's increasing gluconeogenesis. In other words, it's making its own sugar from fat or protein. So here you are, you don't even eat any carbs. You're lowering your carbs. But the carbs are coming from a conversion of your fat into carbs made by your liver caused by this darn hormone right here. That's the mechanism for that. Also, cortisol inhibits insulin. So it allows the blood sugars to go up. So we don't get the benefit of that blood sugar regulation when there's high levels of cortisol. And that can also lead to more insulin resistance. So stress, especially chronic stress, lack of sleep, are two very important factors to look at if you're not losing weight. But what I always like to do is first, make sure the carbs are low, make sure you're doing fasting longer, okay? And you can always go to these two other factors right here. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you, here is your environment.
everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.